Hello and welcome. My name is Akamel DL, and and for those who had um, just finished with the holidays, happy holidays, uh, happy New Year's Eve, and well, just if you're seeing this after New Year's Eve, by the time you're recording this, ha happy New Year, happy 2020. Uh, this video will be going over everything that just came out because there's a lot to take in right now. So I'll, the first thing I'll dive into is uh, the banner. Right now, uh, there's a Platinum Showcase uh, going on. Wait, uh, it's up here. Here it is. There's two of them. One for character, one for dragon. Choice is yours are, are to spend or not. That's a whale choice. Now, now, this will be a little bit of a uh, should you summon slash slash should you farm uh, type of thing. So well, let's now look into the units. Um, the reason why I waited on this and I didn't do this yesterday was because I really wanted to look at uh, the four star. I really wanted to just cover everyone uh, together, rather than just um, do 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 only the five stars. And and we could have a Halloween low end situation of where of where the four star is like incredibly good and it's like above five star tier or or or, or something like that. So well, here we have um, Mitsushuide. I hope that's how I pronounce it. So light dagger unit, um, attack unit. First skill uh, inflicts light damage and paralysis. Uh, second skill uh, light damage to target nearby. Increases attack rate by 10% for 10 seconds. And deals additional damage relative to the combo count when the skill is used. Uh, the max bonus damage is is given when at 30 hits or higher. So this is kind of like a Flurry strength, kind of, I guess. Um, hi uh, higher combo count, uh, more damage. So, mm, kind of. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just uh, go with that. Um, standard uh, crit rate up, uh, four dagger, nothing new. Flurry strength, twenty percent is always good. Curse res, that means high zodiac. And paralysis punisher, in short, in short, flur two This is this is a flur two right here, but it doesn't heal sadly. But hey, still really good. Still really good. So Nobu, or or uh, no Nobunaga, but well, 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 Nobu for short. Um, watch fate. <laughs> uh, a fire katana, also an attack unit. Uh, first skill, uh, flame damage to enemies in a line and applies burning burning ambition to enemies. Enemies will take flame damage with burning ambitions. I mean, when burning ambitions effect ends. Burning Ambition does not stack and cannot be reapplied to enemies still affected by it. I am... Um, I'm guessing that Burning Ambition is... It's like, what, a timer, I guess? It's almost like a bomb? Not quite sure on that one. Um, nor does it exactly say when... Well, nor does exactly say what Burning Ambition exactly does. I'll probably need to look on the wiki for that. And Flash of Unity uh, deals flame damage to enemies that are at the head and dispels one buff from each target. So, in short, made for uh, Volk. Um, standard uh, Katana, so, so strength up. Uh, n another Flurry Strength, which is really good. Sleep Res. Alright, nice. Um, will be a little more difficult to use on a high Midgard, but, well, people have worked around that. And World Dream 2 grants users 4 strikes the ability to dispel one enemy buff when the combat count is 15 or higher. So, well, in short, um, you need to hit a uh, combat count 15 or higher in order for her to really become really good. <sighs> then we have the man Yasu. Yasu, I will come back to because he just got his mana 70 because he is a year old already. Because he has been, because he has a, a mana 70, what they say here, that isn't what he really gets when he becomes a, a mana 70. But the well, you know what, on second thought, because, because some of you guys will be newer and won't be able to take on high dragons, I will go over what, what he does. Even, even though he will only be up to 50 uh, for you guys. So, Sakura Flurry, uh, Shadow Damage, directly ahead, inflicts bleeding, bleeding's busted. And after, then second skill, Blade Formation for, for 15 seconds. During Blade Formation, the, user gradual, the user's HP gradually recovers and the crit rate against bleeding enemies is increased by 15%. Um, what makes this busted is that when it comes to bleeding, 
Um, if you're able to get a crit off an attack that does bleeding, the bleeding damage will go up, known as crit bleeds. And crit bleeds, those are monstrous. Yasu is a crit bleeding monster. So, then we have a standard uh, katana uh, co ability with the strength. Then, then in the abilities, when HP is 10% or above, crit rate 10%. Very good. Paralysis resist can be tried Jupiter. And crit damage toward 20% outright. He is meant to absolutely stack up on, on criticals. He's meant to crit like a madman, crit bleed, and just absolutely abuse the, the bleeding. Alright, so now we'll, uh, I'll skip over the dragons and go over uh, the four star, uh, Chitosi. He! He is very good. I'm emphasizing he because he's a he and not a she. Alright? It's a he. Don't worry about it. It's a he. Even though sometimes I question that myself. So, first skill increases the strength of light and tuned adventurers in, in the team by 25% for 15 seconds. And, and he's a wand unit! This thing is like a mini Noel! This thing is a pure support Noel! Which is amazing! Then the Radical Radiance grants all teammates a one-use shield that nullifies damage less than 30% of the user's max HP and does not stack with other shields. Shield is always nice because well, that means that you can take a free hit. That doesn't do too much damage. But <laughs> then skill damage, that is that standard. Uh, using Love and Acclimum, which is the first skill, grants it grants the user a, a one-use shield. Then off damage is less than 20%. Alright. Curse res, that means he can be used against high Zodiac. Then defense stance 2. User strength is lower by 10% during quests, but their defense is increased by 20%. This can help because he because this just uh, slow, solidifies the fact that he's not meant to do damage and just support everybody else. He's meant to tank hits. He he is he is just meant to live. That's all that's all he's meant for. And this is um and on paper he sounds like an incredible unit. Then well um as a four last year's units now uh Sazanka uh Dark Axe unit. Uh, deals shadow damage to surrounding enemies, draws them toward the user, and inflicts bleeding. That's that's first skill. Second skill activates slumber strike stance. Uh, uh, for the next three four strikes, the, the user will deal extra, extra damage and, and inflict sleep. Um, my one thing about this is that no dark units really take advantage of sleep. So I mean, like it's good, but no one can really take advantage of it. It, it can help in some cases. It can definitely help. Then standard defense co ability. Um, ga uh, gauge accelerator uh, speeds the rate the mode the, the mode gauge decreases by 30%. Mm, that's an okay ability. It's not the best in the world. Browsers resist can be used on high Jupiter and sleeping punisher. So you do increase the damage out of sleeping enemies. No, no other dark unit really has sleeping punisher, so she would be the only one who would take advantage of that. And well, most bigger bosses they don't sleep. So yeah, she's in a tough spot, I would say. She's okay. She's okay to ugh, at most. Addis, on the other hand, also from last year. Uh, Bamboo Cutter uh, deals one damage to enemies after the hit and inflicts poison. Poison's always nice because of the uh, Pazuzu. Then Dignified Soul increases the user strength by 25% for 10 seconds. Very nice. Uh, while the skill is active, Bamboo Cutter will inflict bleeding instead of poison. Ooh. Bleeding is better than poison because bleeding is a unique debuff while poison is a is, is a standard debuff and well, and well certain debuffs can overlap poison but it doesn't overlap bleeding that's why bleeding is so good because you can actually stack bleeding and poison on top of each other well it will be a little hard on Addis uh, uh, you'll need uh, you'll, you'll need them like us uh, separately uh, standard katana co ability um, then for abilities uh, bleeding punisher 8%, uh, bleeding enemies get increased damage dealt to them by 8%, freeze res, uh, you can still use them on high mercury, a uh, bog doesn't mean much, then broken punisher, uh, increased damage and break save by 20%. So yes, you are meant to bleed with him, that way he gets off increased damage. That's in short what, what he is. He is still a very good unit, just if you did not pull victor, pulling him will be worth. He is a mini victor. So now let's go back up and go over the two dragons. So, so the new one, 
uh, Daiko. I, I'm just going to call you Daiko. I'm, I'm, the Daiko Kuten. There we go. I got it right. So, so, so now going over her abilities really quick, I'll get to the skill in a minute. Uh, light Strength 55%, then Light Whirlwind Strength 25%. And this one, in short, Whirlwind Strength is is also a Flurry Strength. So, increases Strength by 25% when the combat count is 15 or higher. So, just if you have a combat count of 15 or higher when mubbed, she is actually a 80% Strength Dragon. That is nuts. She is actually really good. She's really good. Then, then, Lucky Mallet, her skill, deals light damage to two enemies directly ahead and creates a buff zone that lasts for 10 seconds and increases the attack rate of adventurers inside of it. Now then, I'm unaware of how big this... how big this uh, zone is, because, well, I haven't gotten... because I haven't uh, gotten uh, ham yet. But on paper, she she is a monster. She just sounds amazing. 80% strength. That that's that's really good. That's that's better than Prowse's Punisher. <laughs> that's better than the Prowse's uh, uh, the Punisher Dragon. You you just need combo count. That's all you need for her. She's really good. She's really good. Now then, um, Marshatin. I'm, I'm just going to call her Marsh from now on because everyone calls her Marsh and it's much easier uh, to say. Um, dark, uh, dark Dragon, um, she was the first of 60% uh, Dark Dragon and the only one at, at the moment. And Daybreak, f and D Daybreak Flurry uh, deals shadow damage, shadow damage directly ahead and inflicts bleeding. She's a solid unit, uh, just if you have Shinobi, Shinobi is better than her. But, but, well, she is still a really good dragon to have on your on your other units on uh, your team for that 60% uh, buff uh, uh, when mobbed. So, 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 all in all, she is very good. So then, so now with all those, should you summon on this banner? Yes! Summon on this banner! This is a really good banner. It's really good. Now then, I now then, well, on that note, let me actually backtrack really quick and go over Yasu's uh, Mana 70, in which he had just received. So, so Yasu, um, what changed about him is that his Sakura Flurry now does, now, now does extra damage against Poison Foes, so that means he can be paired up with uh, Delphi and uh, Lathana very well. Uh, blade of formation now does more crit rate, so now it's a twenty percent. Uh, cold ability uh, does not change. Um, crit rate is now thirteen percent instead of ten percent. He now has potent uh, paralysis res, in which um, in which will in which will, uh, the potent part pretty much adds on fifteen percent strength for ten seconds when they get hit uh, with an attack that would paralyze them. So uh, more strength for him is always welcome. Then an extra 10% critical damage, so he now has 30% uh, critical damage. Nothing about him changed much, but he just became more potent in short. He is strong now. He is really strong. Then we'll also, also because Botan got her uh, mana, uh, uh, mana 70, which sadly her event uh, just passed, uh, uh, just so you didn't uh, farm that event. Sadly, you missed out on a very, on the, on debatably the best free-to-play unit in the entire game. Botan's mana 70 adds on crit rate and strength. So Botan with Yasu is absolutely going to be monstrous. So once again, to reiterate, should you summon? Yes, you should summon. The next, uh, the, the next limited banner will be January's Gala. Then after that, it will be uh, Valentine's Day. Gala can be skipped Valentine's Day. Uh, we'll find out. But well, I might summon on Valentine's Day, depending on how my summons go. In which also, before you go ham, January second is when is when the free multis end. The uh, the daily uh, free multis. I would recommend waiting until January second to see whether or not uh, you pull everything. Just so you know, then then you're more than welcome to spend all of uh, your wormite. If not, go ham. 
So, so okay then, now that other banner is done, let's begin to go over the event now. So now this event, it is it is a standard arrayed event. So there's a free to play character, a free five star dragon, and a and a four star print. Now that before uh, before beginning on to go over those, why should I do this event? They're adding core weapons. They're adding core weapons to drops. Side games is now officially pumping out core weapons now saying you should you guys are now getting core weapons you should begin to farm up other weapons for for other stuff now for the harder content they're now giving us core weapons just that they're, they're just dumping core weapons onto our lap then hey some 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 uh, new year's weapons too because why not i will be mopping these I, I, I will keep on going until I mob these. Here's all the Wormite stuff. And, and well, hey, uh, you can get uh, some tickets, because why not? And well, uh, Nightmare is available on uh, the third, and Omega will be available after that. In which, well, speaking of Omega, I, I've barely touched on this event. I, I've, only, I've only done uh, uh, this much, in which Bronze is 2,000, Silver is 2,000, Gold is 5,000 emblems. You get a lot of stuff. I recommend farming them. I've already gotten two rare raid boosts already, and I've barely touched this event. It's ridiculous. They have, they must have obviously raised the rates of the, of the rare raid boosts, because well, even during the last event, they were dropping like crazy. So yeah, I'm all for this. I'm all for this. Now then, for the uh, blaze on summon. Uh, you can get uh, the free dragon, uh, Ibisu, in which he is a shadow HP increaser, in which when mob, he's actually 40%, making him the most potent shadow a HP dragon. So, so honestly, he will be worth all the far up, especially f especially for your unit, especially for like a summer Verica. Nidhogg is probably still better on Hinwald because Hinwald is like a mixed. But... Then his skill, it's it's it's, it's HP to 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 just the user. He, he would only be used as as an equip, not to really use. Now then, when it comes to a kind of game in boar, which is the four star, light buff time and shadow res. This will be amazing on the four star unit, like absolutely amazing. Because because with one mob, it becomes like shadow res, I believe 10% and light buff time 25%. So, so, so Chitose is becoming very, very good because his strength up will be lasting a long time. So just hook him up with like a Choco print. Uh, I mean, a Choco Tears, to be exact. I say Choco for short. Then like, done something with like skill haste or, or something, and it's really good. Now, as I'm like going over uh, the free four star, I'll need to dip into here real quick. Uh, I folded you. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Okay. All right. So, uh, Hana uh, Hana Busa is a support unit, a light katana unit. Uh, the dance blades. Um, um, I'm gonna say this right now. Um, this skill is similar to of how a uh, Mikosa first skill works, of where a Voro they're like a three different uh, skill levels. Uh, first skill level will be the weakest. Second one will be medium. And the third one will be the most powerful. Uh, a, a, a level one will just be Dance of Blades. Level two will be Dragon Dance, and level three will be a Tiger Dance. Once one, uh, uh, once one Tiger Dance is is uh, done, then it will reset back to the first skill. Now the dance of uh, Rap Rhapsody. That's it, Rhapsody. A dance of Rhapsody. Uh, just simple. Uh, increase entire team strength by 15% for, for 15 seconds. Honestly, not bad. Uh, uh, standard Katana Co ability. Then uh, Therian's Bane, it, it just says increased damage. Uh, Curse Res, 50%. Mm. Then uh, Frenzy Dance, uh, I don't have this yet. Uh, you'll need 5 star for this one. 
Increase the duration of Dancer Rapidly by 20% when Dragon Dance is in effect, aka the second first level, and 40% while Tiger Dance is in effect, aka the third level. Overall, I find him solid. I find him solid, but not the greatest in, in, in the game. Definitely one of the better uh, free-to-play units. Not the best, but definitely one of the better ones. And uh, one more thing I think of is one prince to see whether or not uh, they're they're worth the pickup uh, for those who are trying to conserve on on Eldwater. So uh, so a work so a worm clan a duo uh, when mobbed skill damage a third thirty percent when HP seventy percent or above crit damage seventeen percent. This is a very solid print. I would recommend picking this up. Uh, then the return of Happy New Year uh, light res thirteen percent and. Sh and for, and for Shadow Units, Paralysis Red 65%. It's okay, it's not the best, obviously. Then uh, Heralds of uh, Hinomoto is uh, returning as well. Whoops. Uh, skill Dance 30%, Skill Haste 6%. It's solid. Solid, uh, you would rather use a Resounding War Edition anyway. Then, uh, then, uh, then a New Year's Battle is now the 4 star. Floor Devastation 10%, HP 7% or above, Strength 8%. Very solid, a, a pretty good print actually. I, I would recommend uh, picking it up. Then also the then also the return of a uh, Hanutsuki Rally. Uh, last offense forty percent, crit rate five percent. It's okay. Uh, last offense isn't the most viable. So that is going to be it for the uh, video. Um, I would recommend summoning. I would recommend farming uh, the event. You can get a lot of worthy stuff from the banner, from the event. It, it, it's a really good pickup. It's a really good pickup. So well, uh, that's it uh, for the video. Uh, just if you enjoyed, like, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, just if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to uh, get to uh, the comments. And uh, Happy New Year.